What's up? It's been a while. If you're new to the channel, obviously it hasn't been a while. You just met me. Consider subscribing so you can see my one upload per year. I just woke up today and figured I'd make a video, so here it is. Uh, let's talk about Fuji film, film simulations in camera. I got really tired of editing my photos. I got really tired of not knowing what direction I wanted to go with my editing, so I bought a Fuji film X-T4. And since I have bought it, I have recently sold it. Not because I don't like it, not because I actually, I loved it. I thought the camera was amazing. But I did take a little break from photography and video, but I'm getting back into it now. And I didn't think the Fuji was really a professional camera. I mean, it is a, you can use it as a professional camera, absolutely. But since I started diving back into uh, looking at gear, I realized the a7 IV was probably a really good option. I didn't know that the a7 IV had come out. I really have not been paying attention to photography or video for a little while. I sold my X-T4 for an a7 IV. Uh, I haven't gotten the a7 IV yet. I'm shooting on my GH5. S. That's just a little update as to where I am. I want to actually get into the video now, so shut the f up about your stupid life and start talking about Fujifilm, please. Okay, so I personally think that Fuji is one of the best personal cameras that you can buy. I do plan on buying an XE4 when I get the money to actually buy personal gear. For now, obviously, I'm going to be shooting on Sony, but I think that the XE4 looks like a pretty fun camera to use and I'll be using it for like personal projects and just candid stuff. But I have three main film emulations or simulations that I would shoot on when I actually had the XT4. I loved shooting on them. I thought they brought amazing colors to the image and honestly I didn't have to do any work in post. So all of these images were shot straight out of camera. The only tweaking that I might have done was maybe a little retouching in an app called Snapseed. And the other thing I would do is add grain, film grain from VSCO, which is an app that nobody uses for anything social media related. Everyone just uses it for editing. So I do add grain to the image between three and 3.5, maybe sometimes 4% grain, depending on how the image was shot. So all of these images are either out of camera, slight curve adjustment, maybe a retouch here and there, and maybe a little bit of grain, but that's it. By the way, I shot all of these photos on either a Canon 50 millimeter 1.4 FD with a KNF photo uh, adapter or a 28 millimeter F2. I believe, with a black promised one quarter. Uh, so right off the bat, I was trying to get a film look in general. So don't think you can just throw one of like the new Fuji film lenses on there and it's gonna have the same exact look. It's not. I specifically went out of my way to make these look like film in addition to the film simulations that I used. The first emulation that I wanna talk about is an emulation that I personally think is the best for night photography. It gives an incredible film look. It looks exactly like like a David Fincher film. David Fincher happens to be my favorite uh, director. But yeah, I mean, just look at these images. They're, they look grungy and gritty and gross. And just the color is amazing. That is, most of these are straight out of camera. I don't think I retouched any of these. I just straight up shot these at night and threw them together with some grain on VSCO. But yeah, I mean, you can tell for yourself. It's a preset called Firefly that I found on YouTube. I will link the person down in the description and their video so they can have their credit where credit is due. They came up with a really great preset or film emulation preset rather. Seriously, <laughs> amazing, amazing film emulation from this guy. Apparently it was made to emulate the Last of Us look, but in my opinion, it's the David Fincher look, and I will stand by that. The next look is Kodak Ektar 100. It's one of those looks that's made by Fuji Weekly or whatever they're called. I don't know, they're like a website where they make uh, different film emulations and they're supposed to replicate other films. Um, their Portra look, in my opinion, doesn't look anything like Portra. It's really nice though, but the Ektar, um, it's pretty similar and it looks really, really good. So you can see I went to the skate park here. I shot some photos of the skate park uh, at Golden Hour. Golden Hour, this film emulation is just absolutely amazing. The clouds, the color in the clouds, everything about it is just really, really smooth and crisp and gorgeous and golden. You can see some of these sunset shots, obviously. They're pretty much similar 
where you get a lot of that golden orange and yellow and those colors just pop. And like I said, none of this is done in post. This is all straight out of camera. It's just, it's really unbelievable how good these Fuji cameras are at getting photos to look good. By the way, these are all JPEGs, so you can't really push them in post anyways. Uh, if you want to, you can add like a slight curve here and there. But film grain, that's pretty much what I did with it. Just added some film grain from VSCO and took it to town, that was it. The last film emulation that I like is a black and white and it's not anything special. It's just the out of camera Acros R uh, film emulation that comes baked into the camera basically. There's no tweaking. I just set it to Acros R and shot with it and it looks amazing. I don't have too many photos of this film simulation but I took some pictures of my dogs and my cat, and I, I think it gives a really good idea of the tonal contrast in this film simulation. It obviously has some great tonal contrast. Black and white is obviously all about tonal contrast, and I think the Acros R straight in the camera gets this job done really, really well. So just some film grain added, maybe a slight curve to these photos if I wanted to crush the highlights a little bit, but that's literally it straight out of camera looks incredible so that's it for the film simulations that i like obviously uh they're they look great and uh, i definitely intend on buying another fuji film camera in the future probably an xe4 just because it's small and compact and pretty cheap but obviously you got to make money first so sony it is for now until i have the means to get something personal that i can just walk around with also you kind of need friends and maybe uh, a girlfriend and maybe a life in order to take photos that are meaningful but regardless hope you enjoyed the video if you did leave a thumbs up if you didn't leave a comment down below and tell me why i suck and why my fujifilm film simulations are terrible subscribe if you want to see more content like this but that's going to do it for this one so i'll see you guys in the next video peace